Hello my friend and welcome back to Survival Superhero. And I am pleased to announce that All Powers has sent me some new stuff to review. So they have sent me their SP027 100 watt solar panel. If you are looking for an inexpensive 100 watt solar panel, this might be for you. Keep watching and I'll tell you all about it and I'll give you a code that you can use to get 10% off. And they have also sent me another R600 600 watt portable power station. Now I actually already did a full review just on the R600 power station. I did a full breakdown of all the features and even did a test to see if it really can power 10 devices at once. And you can hit the link in the description below to check that out. But All Powers has just released a new beige colored R600 model and they were kind enough to send me one to test out these solar panels. Now the beige R600 has the same specs as the one that I reviewed except it's in a new cool beige white color. And you can grab that new beige color right now on the All Powers website. Check the description below for a direct link. So this video is going to focus on the solar panel, starting with the price. The R600 portable power station is priced at $270, but right now it's actually on sale for just $199. And the solar panel is priced at $170, but it is also on sale right now for just $99. And you can use the code Survival Superhero to take 10% off of that. So you can get the 100 watt solar panel plus the R600 generator for under $300, which is a really great deal. Again, you can hit the links in the description below to check it out. Now let's look at the specs. Officially called the All Powers SP027 100 watt portable solar panel kit. This is a bifold portable solar panel and it is compatible with pretty much any other solar generator out there. Its peak power is 100 watts. The solar cell is polysilicon. It's got 22% efficiency, 22.4 volt open circuit. Short circuit current is six amps. Maximum power voltage, 18 volts. It's got maximum power current of 5.4 amps. Unfolded, the size is 1220 by 650 by 10 millimeters, which is 48 by 25.6 by 0.4 inches. And the folded size is 510 by 650 by 30 millimeters or 20 by 25.6 by 1.2 inches. And the weight is 3.6 kilograms or 7.9 pounds. It's got a handle on the top for super easy carrying. The outside is made with durable and waterproof nylon. And when you open it up, the panel inside also has a waterproof surface treatment with an IP66 water resistance rating. So basically a little rain will not hurt this. It's got short circuit and surge protection, and it's made using solar cells from the United States. Now, if we flip it over, the panel has a zipper pouch on the other side, and inside are the MC4 cables that are actually hardwired directly to the back of the panel, which is really cool because you can plug straight into MC4 without having to use any adapters. Now it also does come with some accessories. You get an MC4 to Anderson cord and an MC4 to 5521 DC cord. And it also comes with three adapters. So it basically comes with everything that you are going to need to connect it to pretty much any solar generator out there. So you don't have to use it only with all powers generators. Whatever solar generator you are using, one of these cords or adapters should work for you. And here's a graphic that shows all the technical info for everything that it comes with and some examples of devices that you can plug into. 
Now again, I'm reviewing the SP027 100 watt solar panel, but All Powers also offers many other solar panels from 21 watt to 400 watt. And I'll leave links to all of these in the description below if you want to check them out. And you can even connect multiple solar panels together at once to get higher power and voltage. And on the back side, it's got two legs that are attached with Velcro. So after you unfold it, you just pull the legs out and it props itself up. First impressions. It is super lightweight and super easy to carry. It's very easy to transport. It's easy to fold and unfold. Now, the legs could be a little sturdier, to be honest, but they seem to work just fine. Now, let's take it outside and see how it does. So here's how to use it. It's super easy to set it up. You just unfold it, pull the legs out, and set it underneath the sun. Then you just plug it into your generator. And that's it. Real quick, I gotta mention the pass-through charging feature. So the R600 does have pass-through charging. So even though the R600 right now is currently totally drained and it's at 0% battery charge, I can still plug in things like this speaker and my phone. And now I'm capturing energy from the sun, passing it through the R600 and using it to power and charge these devices, which is really cool. Now let's do some charging tests to find out how much power it draws and how long it takes to charge under different cloud conditions. Charging test number one, 1.15 PM, sunny with no clouds. Right now, it is charging between 69 watts and 80 watts. And under these conditions, it charged the R600 to 50% in four hours. Let's move on to charging test number two. This is at two o'clock PM and it's partly cloudy. And here's what I mean by partly cloudy. The sky looks like this. Now, when the clouds cover the sun, it drops to around 20 to 25 watts. And when the sun comes back out, it goes to between 60 and 80 watts. And under these conditions, it charged the R600 30% in four hours. Charging test number three. This is at two o'clock PM and it is cloudy. It's actually very cloudy today. With 100% cloud cover, we're getting zero watts. But the sun did come through here and there, and here's a time lapse over four hours. Under these conditions, it charged the R600 8% in four hours. Pros and cons. First, the pros. It's a great price. It is compatible with most solar generators. It's made from solar cells from the US. It's got waterproof surface treatment. You can chain multiple panels together. Overall, it's a great bang for your buck. And you get a two year warranty and a 30 day money back guarantee. What about the cons? You may need up to three or four panels to run something large like a refrigerator. But hey, what do you think of this solar panel and power station? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please share this video if you found it helpful and then you can click right here for another great rugged tech video and I will see you there.